everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today we are going to be talking about my spring capsule closet. So this is going to be something a little bit different. It's our my first fashion video on my YouTube channel as well. This video is going to be more of a vlog. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about my experience so far having a capsule closet um, as well. Tell you a little bit more about how you can get your own. So for those of you who don't know what a capsule closet is, there are a few different um, methods about doing a capsule closet. You can do it per season, you can do it um, maybe per, per um, like lifestyle, for example, like if you work a corporate job, you might want to have a separate corporate closet compared to your everyday life closet. You might want to keep those two closets separate. Um, for me personally, I'm going to be doing a capsule closet based on seasons, so spring, summer, winter, and fall. Some people break it down into six months, so to kind of bulk together the spring, summer, and then the fall, winter. I'm actually going to be doing each four separate closets, so a separate spring, summer, fall, and winter closet. And if you read on my blog recently, I'll link the post somewhere around here down below. Um, I've recently kind of been implementing minimalist lifestyle choices into my life just to kind of declutter, simplify things, make things less stressful, more easy. And minimalism is all about buying less, having less, spending less, creating less, and having a capsule closet is all a part of that and I'm really excited and I'm really loving it so far. So basically what a capsule closet is, there's a few different um, methods you can follow. As I said, what I did is I followed the 37 rule, which um, I'll, link, uh, I'll link an article down below, but someone who is, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know his name, but someone who's an expert in capsule closets has come up with this kind of magic number of having a wardrobe of 37 pieces. Now, for some people, that can mean everything from their clothing and shoes, bags, jewelry. However, for me personally, I have quite a number of bags and quite a lot of jewelry. So for me personally, for this closet, I decided not to include those things in this closet. So for me, it's going to be clothing, um, clothing and shoes. And I'm kind of hoping in the future though that I can factor in uh, bags and jewelry and pare everything down. But for women especially, we get very emotionally attached to things like bags and shoes and clothes. We put a lot of time and effort and invest in these things. And naturally we get emotionally attached to them so it can be hard to just all of a sudden say okay here let's just get rid of all my stuff it just doesn't work like that so for me personally I'm taking it in baby steps and breaking it down to clothes and shoes and hopefully later I can factor in bags and jewelry as well um, so on my blog I've created an infograph of how to actually make your own capsule closet um, I'll link the blog post here so you can find all that information because I'm not going to get too into the nitty gritty. So again, I said this is going to be more of a vlog. So it's my experience with the whole capsule, capsule closet thing so far. So the first thing I should say about capsule closet is if, if you are a clothes horse or a hoarder, it is going to be a lot of work. Don't think that it's, don't take this project lightly. You know, and don't do it if you don't want to. Like no one's forcing you to do a capsule closet, but if something if you're interested in minimizing the size of your closet, uh, if you find you have a lot of stress with clothing, if you find maybe, you know, you look in your closet and you say, oh, I have nothing to wear, but it's stuffed to the point where it's overflowing and you still feel like you have nothing to wear, then I would highly recommend the capsule closet because I've had a great experience with it so far. Um, but yeah, so take that into consideration. It is a lot of work. It's about, you know, completely emptying your closet deconstructing what you actually wear, what you actually like, what you don't like, what just sits in your closet just because for whatever, like insert reason here, and that's why it's still in your closet. We all have those pieces, we all have closets like that. So, you know, if that's something you want to fix or curb, then I would definitely recommend it. So for me, the biggest thing I thought was that I would have a big problem um, piecing together outfits. You know, if you take away, you know, you might have, maybe you're one of those people that only has like three really great pairs of jeans, but then you've got a million tops and you think, oh, well, like if I take away all these tops, I'm not going to have any outfits. And like, 
what if those pants don't go with that shirt? And that's kind of the beauty of the capsule closet is that you construct it and you build it in a way that your pieces, almost all of them, should work together in some way. And that way you're left with, yeah, okay, you might only have 37 pieces, but all those 37 pieces work together cohesively and can create, I'm not gonna do the math right now, but like that creates a lot of outfits. So if, for example, if you had one pair of pants and it goes with all seven of your tops, well, that's seven outfits right there. And that's just one pair of pants. So don't limit yourself by thinking, oh, I only have 37 pieces. It really, so that's something I've really enjoyed about the process so far is it really forces me to think outside the box and then maybe put a top with a pair of pants that I don't normally put it with, but I know I've selected them, I've pre-selected them, and I know that they go together. Um, something for me that I, I enjoy is that I was the kind of person, and because I had a closet overflowing and stuff, that I would always pick out my outfits ahead of time. So if I knew I was going to an event, like a special event at the end of the month, I would pick my outfit out ahead of time I always felt like, oh, I don't leave it to the last minute, you know, and what if you have one of those, oh no, I have nothing to wear moments, and then it just stresses you out and just puts all this pressure on you to try and maybe look nicer than you want to or whatever, and so I, I so far I haven't noticed that, and I can leave it, what I like about it is that I can leave outfits to the day of. That's something that's taken a lot of stress off, and I'm not outfit planning as so much. That didn't make sense. <laughs> not outfit planning as much as I used to, but I'm still putting together outfits that I love and that I feel good in and that I like. And it's because by taking out all the crap in your closet that just sits there, and I'm not saying you have to throw it away, I'm not saying you have to get rid of it, sell it, whatever. Like if you're not emotionally ready to part with the clothing, that's totally fine. Put it in a storage bin and put it away till you are ready to like emotionally let go of that clothing. But in the meantime, what you're left with is a closet of clothes you actually like, clothes you actually wear, and clothes that work together. It's like, so often we buy clothing, you know, on a whim because you're like, oh my God, the top is so amazing. And you don't think, okay, well, what do I have in my closet that it's gonna work with? And then it just sits in your closet because it doesn't work with anything. But by having such a condensed closet, you just, everything just works together so nicely and it's awesome. Which brings me into another point of shopping. This is another one of the reasons why I started the capsule closet is to stop, not to stop shopping, but to stop buying things I don't need or to buy multiple of the same thing. It's like, you know, you end up going to the store and you buy something and you bring it home and you're like, oh, I pretty much already have that top. That top right there is almost identical. And then you either don't wear one of them because you already have, you already had one or you don't wear either of them because they just sit there and they don't match anything. So part of the capsule closet is that you don't that once you have your closet set, so for example, I have my spring closet, so I don't buy any pieces for the spring. That's, I have my spring closet and that's set and done. And you'll find more of this information on my blog, but when you're getting ready to do your next capsule closet, so when I'm getting ready to do my summer closet, I'm gonna go through my summer clothing that I've set aside, so I haven't gotten rid of it, I've just, I've set it aside, and I'm gonna go through that and I can actually more thoroughly look at all the clothing and say, okay, what am I really missing? What am I missing for summer that I actually need slash want? And then again, sticking with those 37 pieces, you know, if, I, if I'm looking at all my summer clothing and I'm, I'm at my 37 limit, it's like, okay, well, what do I need? What am I willing to get rid of to get that item? So it really just makes you not over shop, not overspend on clothes, which is, we should all stop doing really. We don't need four bedrooms of closets. So for example, for this summer, I don't really think I need anything, maybe shorts, but I, I haven't gotten that far yet. But I know looking ahead to say like winter, I know I need some winter boots and coats. So going ahead, going into the future of my closets, I know what I need to spend and I know what I need to buy. So it's like even kind of starting now, I know and I'm not just gonna buy like the fast fashion, you know, big chains, and buy some crappy coat that's only gonna last me a season. Because I know what I want to put in that closet, I can take the time to research and save and spend. I might spend more than I but would have. I'm gonna get a piece that is going to last me a lot longer because again, between now and winter, 
I'm not just constantly shopping and buying trendy things and buying things because I think I need more in my closet because I'm looking at my overstuffed closet and just buying things because I think I don't have anything to wear. So I think that's all I wanted to say about capsule closets. It's my first one. Um, I started it, so since I'm doing seasons, uh, living in Canada, we have pretty defined seasons, but our spring is still kind of cold and wet, so um, it had a lot of my, still has kind of a lot of my winter clothing in it, a lot of layering pieces. Um, but so for me, the spring closet is running from March to May, and then summer will be June, June, July, August, etc. and forth, so forth. They run for three months at a time. I'm really loving the process so far like it's for me personally I haven't noticed if it um, has saved me any time getting dressed I mean I guess in the sense that I'm not so much outfit planning because that does take time so I'm not so much doing that because it's so much quicker I can see what's clean what do I like to wear together and just boom boom pull it throw it on um, so it has saved me time it just saved me stress because I like Everything that's in there right now is all clothing I really like and I really like to wear right now. So come time to switch closets, you know, if I see a piece that I'm like, you know what, I didn't really wear that so much that's in the spring, come next spring, maybe I'll either, you know, sell the piece or just not put it in again, you know, maybe save it for a different season. Maybe that's why I didn't wear it so much. It didn't work for the season. Um, so I think that's it. If you guys have any questions about capsule closets, um, I'm doing a full blog post on it and again I said I'm making an infograph on how you can make your own capsule closet so check out for that I will link it somewhere and let me know if you liked the blog if you want to see more vlogs give me ideas for things to blog about that'd be great I just like saying the word blog a lot so thank you for tuning in bye guys